All right, let's talk a bit about cavities, how they start, what causes them, how to prevent them, and also habits we can do to try and keep your teeth cavity free. Now, cavities can be quite frustrating, especially since once they start, they can only get worse, and they're almost 100% preventable if we take the right steps. Now, I'll try and cover three main points in this video. What causes cavities, so you get a better idea or you can understand how they start. I'll also try and cover how to prevent them, so easy practical steps you can do to try and keep your teeth healthy. And also personal habits I recommend, uh, just little things you can do to try and keep your teeth healthy for longer and things that can make a big difference over time. So uh, yeah, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea on how to try and keep your teeth cavity free. Let's get started. All right, so what exactly causes cavities? It really comes down to three main things. So plaque, sugar, and acid. Now, here's what exactly happens. Every day we have bacteria living in our mouth, which is perfectly normal. But what happens is when you eat something sugary or starchy, something like cookies, rice, pasta, soda, these bacteria end up getting to work and they feed on the sugar, which ends up producing acid as a waste. Now, this acid is quite harmful for the teeth. The reason being is because it starts attacking your enamel, which is the hard outer shell or outer layer of the tooth, which can be harder than steel technically. Now, what happens is the acid ends up attacking this enamel which ends up causing small holes within the tooth, and that's what we call a cavity. Now, if the cavity uh, is left the way it is, sometimes it can get worse, and it can grow deeper and deeper to the point where it reaches the center of the tooth, something known as the pulp, or also known as the nerve, which, could, which is sort of like a center of nerve and blood vessels. And once it reaches there, you can sometimes start getting symptoms like pain, sensitivity, infections, to the point where you'll probably need a root canal um, or potentially lose the tooth altogether. So in simple terms, what we can say is plaque plus sugar equals acid and acid itself equals enamel damage and enamel damage is what causes the cavities. Let me try and give you a quick visual here. So imagine sugar as the fuel for a fire, uh, bacteria as little sparks and acid as the flames. The more sugar you add, the bigger the fire gets and the worse things get. That's why preventing cavities is more about trying to stop the process in its tracks uh, before it gets worse. Now let's talk about how to prevent cavities from happening. Um, the good news is uh, they're entirely preventable and small daily habits can protect your teeth and make a big difference over time. Now, the first thing I suggest is brushing twice a day. Now, that should be done for two minutes. I know it's the most basic rule, but it works. And uh, I suggest doing it twice a day in the morning as soon as you wake up and at night just before you sleep uh, using a fluoride toothpaste. Now, what fluoride does is it acts as a shield for your enamel and also helps repair earlier enamel damage that's caused by the acid and helps sometimes reverse cavities. And here's the thing, if you think you're not brushing for long enough, which is two minutes, I suggest using a timer or try potentially using an electric toothbrush with a built-in timer. And the second thing is uh, flossing every day. Now, brushing only cleans the visible surfaces of the teeth, but it doesn't really clean um, anything in between the teeth. And those tight spaces that uh, are known as interdental spaces, basically, when you're brushing, you're only cleaning about 60% of the tooth structure of your teeth, and you're leaving about 40% of the tooth uncleaned, which is about half of your mouth. Now, if you find uh, flossing or regular flossing to be difficult or annoying, uh, maybe try using a floss pick or potentially a water flosser. The goal is to essentially try and get in between the teeth because uh, we don't want any food or plaque really to build up in between, which can also cause cavities in between your teeth. The third thing uh, I suggest is watching your sugar intake. Now, sugar is like a buffet for bacteria. So the less sugar you consume, the less acid you produce and the less damage that's done to your teeth. So here's what I suggest. Potentially try and avoid uh, sugary foods throughout the day. So uh, I would try to not snack in between meals. And if you really want to have something sweet, try and have it during a meal. And the other thing is to try and switch uh, sugary drinks like soda or juice for water instead. And if you really want to have those sugary drinks, maybe try using a straw instead, because the goal is we try to not sort of touch the tooth structure. So a straw sometimes can help. Now, here's the thing. If you're sipping continuously on something like soda or something sugary, or even something acidic like coffee continuously throughout the day, that can cause damage to your teeth because you're constantly attacking the enamel. Instead, what I suggest is to try and have the thing in one go. So when you're drinking coffee, try and have it in one go. Possibly try to not exceed 10 or 15 minutes uh, when you're having that. And also after that, try and wash your mouth with water, try and rinse out. Which leads us to the fourth point, which is rinsing your mouth after meals and snacks. Because you want to really wash away uh, any sugar or any food that's really stuck on your teeth. Now, the fifth thing is to see your dentist regularly. Now, even with perfect brushing and flossing, uh, plaque can still harden into tartar. 
which can only be removed by a hygienist or a dentist. And also try to do regular checkups with your dentist uh, based on the recommendation or the time interval they suggest, uh, because that also allows us to catch early cavities, especially when they're still small, easier and cheaper to fix. Right now, let me share some habits I personally recommend and do and things you can implement uh, every day. And they're very small habits to do, but if you do them continuously and consistently over time, they can make a difference. The first thing I suggest is using a fluoride toothpaste and brushing twice a day for two minutes. Now, make sure the fluoride has got a concentration of at least 1350 parts per million or ppm. Make sure you brush twice a day. So I brush as soon as I wake up and just before I go to sleep. Uh, and also make sure you clean all the tooth surfaces properly. So the front, the back, and also the chewing surfaces. And you also want to focus on the gum line as well, because that's where plaque tends to build up and can also cause tartar buildup. And here's the thing, after brushing, I would not recommend uh, rinsing your mouth with water after. Just make sure you spit out the excess toothpaste, but don't rinse your mouth with water. Because what happens is you don't want to wash away the concentrated fluoride particles uh, from, from your teeth. And the second thing I recommend doing is using a fluoride mouthwash, but not right after brushing. So here's the thing, when you add a fluoride mouthwash, that also helps strengthen your enamel and protect it against acid attacks. But try to avoid it after, but, or you should not really do it after you brush. Uh, reason being is because that would wash away the concentrated fluoride uh, from the toothpaste. Um, instead, what I recommend is try and use the mouthwash at a different time of the day. So, for example, after lunch or after a snack. Um, this way, you ensure you have the maximum benefit of the mouthwash and the toothpaste itself. And the third thing I recommend and do is I chew uh, sugar-free gum. So, uh, when you chew a sugar-free gum, that helps stimulate saliva production, which is like your body's natural mouthwash. And what saliva helps do is uh, it helps neutralize the acids and also help wash away food particles and strengthen um, your teeth with minerals. And, and I try to look also for gum that contains uh, something known as xylitol. So uh, this ingredient not only helps uh, increase saliva production, um, it also helps reduce cavity-causing bacteria. And the fifth thing I suggest is staying hydrated. So a dry mouth increases your risk of cavities because you don't have enough saliva to wash away the plaque and food particles. Instead, what I suggest is to try and drink plenty of water throughout the day, especially uh, during meals, after meals, just to keep your mouth healthy and hydrated. And here's the thing why these things matter, because each of these habits uh, work simultaneously together uh, to protect your teeth from acid attacks, uh, they help strengthen your enamel, and also help prevent cavities from forming or even worsening. So to wrap it up, it really comes down to three main things. Uh, make sure you brush and floss every day, and make sure you do that properly. Cut down on sugar and rinse your mouth afterwards, and see your dentist regularly to make sure your teeth are clean and to help catch early signs of decay and consistency can really go a long way. Thank you for watching and uh, if you've got any questions let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and explain them. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.